today we're doing an unboxing video for the Shark Liftaway Pro Steam Pocket Mop. mop. <laughs> Say that five times fast. So the reason why we got this is because I specifically requested it. As many of you know, if you subscribe to our channel, we just reviewed the Shark Apex Upright uh, with the du Duo Clean and Zero M technology. And I, f I am a crazy couponer, one of those extreme couponers, and uh, follow a lot of websites like uh, Everyday Cheapskate is one of them. And she has talked about steam as the best cleaning method for a long time. And I've looked at many, many different options. And um, one of the ones that she recommends is the shark. So uh, when I sent in the final review stuff, I said, any chance we can review a steam mop too? Uh, and the reason why is because it will get, oh, you want to go bye-bye? Uh, it will get off like, you know, dried cat vomit or if they've got diarrhea going on and it's on their hair and then it's on your floor, it will take care of all of that. And what I like about it is that it's sanitary, it's safe, there's no chemicals involved, and it's just a deeper clean as far as I know or can tell. So I'm very excited about this one. All right, here we go. I actually um, looked at some of the videos yesterday on the Shark Steam Mop um, on YouTube when we got this so that I would have a better idea of what I was talking about when I unwrapped it. Okay. So there's, I know there's two heads. There's a rectangular head and there's a triangular um, shaped head. So there are lots of pieces and parts. Here's that rectangular head that I was talking about. And then they have more of like a, a spot cleaning type of thing. Or this looks like a scrubber. So I probably scrub dried on stuff. I don't know what that is yet. And then I think this is also for like a specific, targeting a specific area. This looks to be the main body. The trickiest thing that I saw on YouTube when I was watching the videos and whatnot was this screw uh, in order to connect the main part with the handle, you needed this screw and it just goes into here and then um, I'll need a Phillips or a flathead to get that secure. Oops. And then I just choose the end that I want, which is probably going to be this one. And they have it's really easy to line it up because they have different shapes that make it line up appropriately. Then if I remember, oh yeah, here's the, the fill container. You just do one twist and then I think it takes, uh, you just fill it with, with this. And they did suggest using distilled water, um, especially if you live in an area where there's lots of hard water. Uh, because the minerals and calcium will build up um, in the machine over time. So just to prevent that, I actually went and bought distilled water yesterday. I had watched videos about the Shark Steam Mop on YouTube before I ever started unpacking it, as I mentioned. And one of the things that they said was to let it warm up for 30 seconds. I would actually recommend, after what, doing what I did, letting it warm up for a minute or so. Right there I was scratching a spot that it was like a, a piece of grass that was hard adhered onto the tile floor and I was trying to get it off. One of the big things definitely is to vacuum the floor before you steam mop it because otherwise 
you're gonna battle two different things so it's easy to steam mop it once all the debris is list lifted off with a vacuum. It was a weird experience for the first time and that's why I'm excited to review it because I'll see if I'll get used to it but it's it doesn't feel like a mop as it moves and you definitely have to take several passes over the same spot to get it clean and I didn't actually think the floor looked that clean after I was finished but it was more that after it dried and after the grout dried that it really looked clean to me the cord is really long, which can be a pain or be nice, depending on how big your kitchen floor is. And as you can see, there was quite a bit of dirt on my kitchen floor. And the nice thing is, is that you can flip it over and use the other side. That front part never really got any dirt on it. So that was interesting. And I've actually already washed the covers and the dirt doesn't really completely come off. So I'll talk about that in my review. And here's how it's so easy to remove the cover. You don't even have to technically touch it to remove it. You just lift it off as you saw. This is before I've ever washed it, so. It ends up staying on there a lot, in fact, even after I've washed it. And then to change to the triangular head, you would just remove the rectangular portion and put the triangular one on like I did. And I ended up doing the whole floor again with a triangular head because I figured what the heck I needed to get more dirt off and I was experimenting with the whole thing anyway. That button that I pressed um, either turns it on low, high, or standby. And I had it on high when I used the rectangular head. And here's just an example of, see the steam coming off of it? And that's how it works. I'm really excited about this, guys. <laughs> All the things I get excited about. And here's the reason that I get excited, because look at all that dirt. Man, I got, I got a clean flow from all my work. All right, thank you, Shark Steam Mop. All right, guys, I'll include a link in the About section below to where you can buy this sucker online if you don't want to wait for our final review. If you do want to wait for our final review, be sure to subscribe and like our channel so that you'll get notified when our final review is loaded in four to six weeks. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. If you have a shark steam mop, tell me your experience. I want to hear about it. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.